There we are, so I have two of them right there. They say dead bodies never really speak, but they speak to me. I can't even sleep. I've been off a beam. You can never feel my pain if you ain't let it squeeze. You ain't never knocked a hey, nigga off his feet. They say dead bodies never really speak, but they speak to me. I can't even sleep. So I'm off a beam. What's going on fam? Today I'm going to go over a quick little tire sled tutorial. Something that's quick. Something you can do on your own at home. All you need is a drill, your tire. You also need whatever bolt that you plan on using for your sled. So I'll go and grab mine. As I said, you need whatever bolt you plan on using. I'm going to use my eye bolt. Reason being is because it's almost closed. As you can see, this one it is 3 eighths by 6 inches. So 6 inches. 3 eighths in width and uh, like I said this is self-explanatory I'm not going to try and make this video super long as you see in the background I got like, different tires that I use for different type of workouts that ever I plan for the day and so we'll just get straight into it all right so before I start drilling something that I should mention is like with your drill bit, you wanna make sure that you get a strong enough bit that can go through like steel and little metals and things like that because inside of tires, a lot of people may not know there's like different little wires and stuff that you're gonna to have to drill through. So we'll just start the drill process. I got through three different holes and so now what I'm going to do is improvise because since my bit isn't necessarily of size, I need to just kind of just get ghetto fabulous with it man. I'm not going to make it harder than it has to be and get some of the bolt cutters, just kind of pierce it through to the size I need. So now perfect. Let's go ahead and take our nut off. So that's the back side of the screw and now I'm just pretty much throwing it on through. Nothing too crazy. This is pretty much the longest part. Once when you get your hole the right size, you just take your time putting the screw through. So boom, you have your eye right there and then the back is going to have that bolt coming through this is one of my other bigger tires this is really good with weight as well but I wanted something smaller that way you know for doing any type of sprints or anything and so now let's go ahead and put our nuts on the back of the bolt as I said I'm just gonna put a washer on the back so that way it can be flushed up against the rubber or the tire or whatever and I'm gonna put two different bolts one of these is a stocking not bolt but two different nuts my apologies I always mix them up anyways having two is gonna help that counter balance of the vibrations that you'll get once when you start working out with the tire especially like tugging on it and everything like that it's going to cause a vibration on the tire so you want to have two different nuts to put on it so that way it doesn't just loosen itself so there goes one and I'll make sure I get the camera as close as possible so you can get a better view of the way I set it up and boom there we are so I have two of them right there let me put some light on it. Hopefully that helps. So. Okay, so for me, I have my toe straps. You can get these for, I want to say about $20, depending on where you go. I got this one from Lowe's. And then all you do, make sure you have a carabiner. Make your carabiner, boom, there you go. There's your tire sled. Now, I got my belt on. It's just one of those weightlifting belts. I put a, a carabiner on the back. And boom. All right. 
right, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Like I said, it's something super self-explanatory. It's not hard to do. It's cheap. For everything in total, I spent less than $30 for this by fax. All I did to get my tire was I just went to my local community tire, asked them like if I could just get one of the tires that they had to recycle, told them what size I want, brought me out the tire, went to my hardware store to get all my little bolts and things like that. And honestly, for that, that's less than $5 if you know what type of bolt you're looking for. I'll put more of the description of the bolts that I use down below. But like I said, with all that being said, it was less than $30. And it's a good way to ball out on a budget, get good workouts in, and, you know, just something to have fun with. Otherwise, you can go spend hundreds of dollars on a nice sled, and that works just as fine. But, you know, my wallet doesn't work that well, so... I think this way is better for me but anyways with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed i'll try and leave more information below so that way you got a better understanding of what to do and therefore just enjoy the video and subscribe thank you peace